Okay, well, we're back for more Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix, everybody. We have now officially finished Terra's story, and, uh, oh boy, did not end well for him. He was all about getting that strength, and then, despite us being incredibly strong, Xehanort uh, ended this by taking over our level 45 body. This is not good. We should have done a level 1 run, then Xehanort would have been <laughs> taking over a really weak body, but no. No, great, yeah, great, so Terra's story is now done. It's time for us to start a new game, and we're again playing on critical mode, obviously. Yes, I'm playing on critical mode. Duh. Vibration is on, that's fine. Yes, I would like to skip the introduction. I can bypass the opening scenes and the basic tutorials. So all that stuff we played at the beginning where we played as all three of the characters with like Ventus and Terra and Aqua and just like kind of testing out the basic battle commands. Yeah, we can skip all of that after we've beaten the game once. And now we can just jump straight to here to start the second story, which is nice. I don't want to have to play that tutorial every time, because it doesn't change at all. In this game, chooses one character at a time. Yeah, I know that. So, yep, as you can see, Terra it's, uh, has that nice complete notice at the end of it. So now we're going to move on to the second story, Ventus's story. An outgoing and inquisitive boy who holds his keyblade backhand. Quick attacks are his forte. Here we go, yes, we'll play as Ventus. And hopefully this will be a bit more interesting for you all, because there will be less grindy videos. A lot of the stuff we had to do in Terra's story to grind, we can just skip video-wise here. <laughs> it's been a long time, Ventus. <laughs> like, oh, I don't like creepy grandpa. Ventus at least knows that Xehanort's probably up to something. Today you will be examined for the mark of mastery. Not one, but two of the Keyblades chosen stand here as candidates. But this is neither a competition nor a battle for supremacy. Not a test of wills, but a test of heart. Both of you may prevail, or neither. But I am sure our guest, Master Xehanort, did not travel all this way to see our youngest prospects in years fall short of the mark. I trust you are ready. Yes. Then let the examination begin. So the beginning of this story is like exactly the same as Terra's. To take the mark of mastery, Xehanort's like, hey, I'll just add a little darkness to this. <laughs> this will be great. Never explain, why does Xehanort even do this? Is he like trying to, obviously he's trying to like sabotage the exam. Is he trying, does he already know Terra has like the darkness within him? And he's like trying to draw it out. It's never really explained. Don't worry about or is he just like, <laughs> this will be you funny. <laughs> on the exam. But then, you're in danger here. Go wait in your room. No way. I've been looking forward to this. Seeing you two become masters. I'm not gonna miss it now. He could take care of himself. He's been out there training just as hard as us. Yeah. Thanks, Tara. Stay sharp, Ben. Terra's right, Ven is quite accomplished, although he's not as good as Terra at the beginning. Destroy the Orbs of Light, so even though it's their Mark of Mastery exam, we also get to help out for some reason. I don't know why. But here we go, Ventus is a little bit quicker than Terra is, especially on the attacking front, but the Light Orbs are still obnoxious to deal with. Yeah. Dog on it. I need to change the configuration of the, uh... The command... The commands... Bleh. The command deck is moving in the opposite direction I want it to. Makes it rather annoying to deal with. Oh yeah, we've also got shot locks. And Ventus's default shot lock is the flame salvo that Terra had. But Terra had to unlock that. It's Ventus's from the default. Bam! We get more HP and we learn the fever pitch command style. So this is basically Ventus's version of critical impact. Critical impact is just for Terra. Fever Pitch is for Ventus. Yeah, 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 we know about changing command styles. We already went over that. That was unexpected. But one must keep a still heart even in the most trying of circumstances. It was an excellent test. One I chose to let unfold. Which brings us to your next trial. Now, Terra and Aqua. The two of you will face each other in combat. Remember... There are no winners, only truths. 
For when equal powers clash, their nature is revealed. Begin! <laughs> Terra's got the moves, man. I mean, so does Aqua, but... <laughs> That's the moment Zane where it's like, oh, okay, <laughs> time to take over Terra's body. <laughs> he has darkness in him. We this is good. We <laughs> deliberated and reached a decision. Terra, Aqua, you both performed commendably. However... Only Aqua has shown the mark of master. <laughs> There's a... No! Terra, you fail to keep the darkness within you sufficiently in check. I bet Xehanort put but it there. there is always next time. He put the darkness in the balls of that light. All. Maybe Xehanort put the darkness in Terra, too. Aqua, as our Probably not. Blade master, you are entitled to certain <laughs> Xehanort's like, how disappointing. <laughs> Let me walk creepily away. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, the gnarmiest line in the game. The darkness. Where did it come from? <laughs> that that implies that he didn't know, and that Xehanort did put it there. The darkness. Where did it come from? <laughs> what do you make of Ventus? He ain't gonna cut it. Somebody's gotta break that loser in. How did nobody notice Not Vanitas here, was here? Won't. I have to keep up appearances. I know that. He just needs a little incentive to leave home. How does Vanita see out of that mask? Unless it's like the whole thing's a giant pair of sunglasses. Sorry. But I need some time alone. Oh no. But Hera... He has a toy keyblade. Now we get some original scenes. see Terra again. What? Get real. I can see Terra anytime I want. Wait a second. There was a book on his shelf that was titled Birth by Sleep. He also has the Ultimania. <laughs> and um Kingdom Hearts 1.5. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Like right now, he's leaving you behind. And by the time you catch up, he'll be a different person. Look, whoever you are, you don't know the first thing about Terra. Me and him will always be a team. You trying to pick a fight or what? Oh, grow up. Is that what you call friendship? You'll never know the truth unless you go out and look for it yourself. Come on, what could you possibly know when you're stuck here looking at nothing but what's in your tiny world? Yeah, trust this guy. Who just walked into a portal of darkness. Back then, Ventus had to use a toy keyblade. He didn't have a real one. I do like the friendship between Ventus and Terra. Terra! Terra! I, I... It's okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's okay, Master Xehanort believes in me, and I trust him. Oh yeah. Wow. I wish I could turn my keyboard into a speeder bike. 
That's that's a pretty cool transformation. Let's be real. It's like, how do I do that? Like, Wait a second, I have armor too. Bling. Has he never used that before? Also, he has his own version of the Keyblade Speeder Bike. It's like a Keyblade hoverboard. It's pretty cool. Don't fall off it, Ben! I'm gonna follow Terra! It's gonna be great! And we forge a D-Link with Aqua. Yeah, we know how D-Linking works. And we forge a D-Link with Terra. So Terra got to forge a D-Link with Aqua and Ven. Ven gets to forge D-Links of Aqua and Terra. Now, the bad part is because Ventus can't D-Link himself, he doesn't get access to the haste ability, which is a big shame. However, Terra has some interesting properties. So we'll get into that. And we get Xehanort's letter, a letter from Xehanort to Ericus. Unlock the command board for the land of departure. Yeah, that that's nice. We, we don't need to play that, though. At least not now. Okay, well, right right from the get-go. Open up our command deck. Yeah, we, we know all these tutorials. I know how to level up commands. Quick Blitz has the scan ability. Arrow has the zero EXP ability. And we got Flame Solo. Cool. First feeds first. Okay, yes, I know about the finish commands. I do. All right, our, our default one is finish. Punish foes with a flurry of quick attacks. Obviously, we got to rename this bad boy right from the start. I couldn't think of an original one, so I just went with I am not Roxas. Because apparently he's not Roxas, even though he looks exactly like him. There we go. That's our default ability. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, do we have anything else we can put in here? We have sliding dash. We definitely want that. No question we want that. Also, we're going to go to config. Uh, command deck. We are using flipped. I don't know why the version I use is flipped, because that's the one... Flipped is what it should be, the default. But whatever. There we go. We do that. Let's go to reports. Secret reports. Xehanort's letter. <laughs> Dear Master Ericus, please accept my deepest gratitude for the invitation to witness your pupil's ascension to the office of true Keyblade Master. It was a heavy mantle our master placed upon your shoulders in naming you successor, but you have nonetheless persevered and raised two masters yourself. I know it cannot have been easy. I did you a terrible harm in the past over a petty difference in opinion, and just a few years ago selfishly thrust my own burdens upon you. I think of you like a younger brother, and yet, fool that I am, I have never availed myself to countless opportunities to apologize or thank you for opening your home to the boy. Yet not once have you blamed me. On the contrary, here you are inviting me to such an important ceremony. I intend to be there to offer you all my blessings. Our master chose his heir wisely. Ours is a bizarrely ironic task, to watch over the light from the shadows. But in the face of that, the warmth in your heart and unfailing dedication to the light impressed me to no end. I have taken to wandering the world, and seen much darkness hiding in the light. Lately, I fear it has taken a turn for the worse. Perhaps Yen Sid has already told you about the Unversed. These fledgling emotions derive from negativity, and I can now sense their presence in nearly every world. And on the topic of darkness, we must speak of another matter that concerns me, one related to the upcoming ceremony. When I visited several years ago, your pupil Terra drew my attention. His power is immense, to be sure, but within his heart I could see darkness just waiting to be awakened. I know this is none of my business, but I have reservations about welcoming Terra as a true Keyblade Master without taking certain precautions. The traditional examination, perhaps, to see if he has the mark of mastery? The choice is yours, and I will humbly respect your decision. Take care, I eagerly await our long overdue reunion. Okay, yeah, so Xehanort, be the huge button, he's like, oh, I, I don't know about Terra, and then he's like, oh, Ericus is such a bot, Terra, you're great. <laughs> so he's, he's a master of manipulation here, is basically what I'm getting at. Wow, what a butt. And related to D-Link, so Aqua's D-Link is the same as it is in Terra's story. Terra's D-Link, D-Link with Terra to change your arsenal. Command deck, rushing attacks, and the finish is a powerful jumping attack. So, yeah, we'll be, t we'll be sure to take advantage of both of those in the coming days. Oh, also, I guess I should just look at the default Keyblade here. Wayward Wind, the Keyblade you started out with. When it lacks in reach, it makes up for with a slight boost in strength. Free strength, one magic, not a lot of reach, nothing too special. Anyhow, 
So we also have the first trio of worlds, however, whereas Terra started in the Enchanted Dominion, Ventus starts here in the Dwarf Woodlands, and Dwarf Woodlands is combat level 1 for us. So let's head on over here. I like how the different uh, characters start in different worlds. Aw, uh, yeah. Hi-ho, hi-ho. It's off to work we go. Wow. Wow, I love that song. I do too, Ventus. Yay, we actually get to see the seven dwarves. Welcome to the dwarf woodlands. We actually get to explore the woodlands more in this part. Like I said, the different characters go to different parts of each world, which is kind of cool. So Ventus here, we're at the Dwarves Diamond Mine. Alright. Okay. Way to fall off, bro. You get a potion. Let's start leveling up our D-Links, and for Ventus, I generally recommend you level up Aqua's D-Link first. Because again, Terra wants to level up the Ventus D-Link because the haste command you get for Ventus' D-Link is so good. But for Ventus, I generally like leveling up Aquas first so you can get magic spells like Cure earlier. Also, Ventus' magic stat is a lot better than Terra's, so he can actually use the magic commands a lot better. Oh, there we go. First level up, Magic Deflector. Nice. The reason I always exit the D-Link after I level it up is I'm pretty sure you can't get a level up thing more than once per D-Link. So if you un-D-Link and then re-D-Link later, you can actually get a second uh, level up. Also because there aren't a whole lot of enemies left in this room. In fact, I think we've actually grabbed... Oh, nope. My bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, Terra, his name basically means Earth, and he's basically an Earth-based guy. He has a lot of Earth-based commands. Ventus' his name is, uh, I believe, means Sky, or, like, Air, or Wind, or something. <laughs> I'm not Roxas. I am not Roxas. So, Ventus has a lot of, um, Air-based commands. Ooh, yeah. Oh, let's see if we can go to the Fever Pitch command style. Here we go. So Fever Pitch is basically just like a physical uh, command style. Similar to Critical Impact, but whereas Critical Impact is like slow and heavy blows, Fever Pitch is more rapid blows. It's not amazing. I have to... Who were those little men I saw march off? Ven's like, I don't care about the woods. I want to go after the dwarves. Also, uh, Ventus' dodge roll. At the beginning, it's not as good as Terra's slide, because Terra's slide just goes really far, but trust me, once we get the the dodge roll to max level, it's so much better than Terra's dodge. So much better. Just you wait. <laughs> hey, guys! Can I help? Look at all those jewels. Oh, Dopey, you got... You, you're almost there. Who are you? I'm Ventus. Call me Vent. A diamond thief. Take cover, you fools. <gasps> Grumpy, I just want to be friends. There's seven of them and they have pickaxes. They could have taken me in a fight. Okay, there's six of them and they have pickaxes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. You didn't? You mean, you're not here for our diamonds? That's not nice. Treating me like some kind of bad guy. I'm just trying to find a friend. His name is Terra. He's dressed kind of like me, about yay tall. Sounds like a tall tale to me. Go on, get! We don't know any Terra. <laughs> Terra only talks to the bad guys. Please, could you come over here? I just want to talk. Don't pull for it! Stay where you are! 
All right. Then we'll do this the hard way. Yeah. Okay. But it's like, all right, if you're not going to talk to me, then I'm just going to kill you. Head into the mine to find the drawers. And we get the balloon sticker. Hey, Dopey. Ugh. <laughs> dopey is creepy as all get out. Ugh. Also, wow, Dopey is short. Yeah. This is not a case of just Snow White is really tall. Like, you know, don't be short. Oh, what can we buy? Nothing. We can buy absolutely nothing for this small amount of money that we have. Hope we can find some more when we enter the mine. Also, is there like a treasure chest in here with maybe a map? No, I think this is one of those worlds where we get the map at the end of the world. Uncover all of the dwarves' hiding places. So the dwarves will just be hiding around in this area somewhere. We gotta find them. Ooh, the mini spell. Yeah, we get the mini spell really early in Ventus' story, which is going to make it great. Also, now we're going to start delinking Terra a little bit. Okay, I hear Sneezy around somewhere. So Terra's... Terra's starting hand is not particularly great. None of his commands are all that awesome. But once we level him up, then we'll start getting some good stuff. And his finish command is just Terra's default finisher, where he just slams the ground. Nothing too spectacular. One of the doors is in there, and he's not happy. I'm more interested in killing the Unburst to try to level up the Terra D-Link, though. Also, we can get some soup and crystals along the way. Ugh! We missed. Good job. Okay, you. I think that is... Dope... Or, not Dopey. That's Grumpy. Grumpy will actually try to attack you. I'm warning you! Keep your paws off our diamonds! I'll be watching! Grumpy, it's not like you and the dwarves do anything with the jewels you collect. Like, at all. We don't know what we dig them for. We dig, 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 dig. <laughs> they literally just grab all the diamonds and don't do anything. I think that's Sneezy in there. Or maybe Sleepy. No, that's Sleepy. Is it morning already? I hear Sneezy, like, sneezing up a storm somewhere. That's the that's one of the dwarves as well. The beer. I know the floods aren't all that. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. So now that we've leveled up Terra's Daily, we get Overdrive, which will increase the power of our attack. Uh, just our attacks in general. Not by a lot, but by a little bit. Payback Raid. Punishing foes with payback moves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is like Payback Faint. It's, it's Ventus's version of Payback Faint, basically, where instead of, like, smashing someone with a Keyblade, you, like, throw your Keyblade, like, Strike Raid in retaliation. There's Sneezy. My hay fever! I gotta, I gotta, hold on, hold on, careful! Alright, we'll revert. I think this is Doc, maybe? Maybe we should kill the uh, verse before we uh, reveal him. That might be the nicer thing to do. Ah, uh, here we go, Fever Pitch! Yep, there's Doc. We haven't met any Mara, uh, uh, Terra, and we know if a stranger was around. We have two dwarves remaining. We got Happy and Bashful. Okay, here's Happy. Yeah, so as you can see, the fe Fever Pitch is an interesting command style. It's not really great, but it's, it's okay. So there are these minecart tracks around here, and Bashful is just kind of hiding out in the minecart, so we gotta hit him as it goes by. Easier said than done, because if the minecart touches us, then we take damage. And 
Happy's just kind of running away. There we go. Sorry, Bashful. Oh, gosh. I love how we're literally just, like, killing the dwarves because they don't want to talk to us. It's not how you make friends, Ventus. I am not Roxas. It's kind of nice to be back at level one. Terra was just too powerful. <laughs> You're happy. Wait a second. <laughs> Take that, Happy. <laughs> oh, Happy, don't look too happy. You sure seem nice. I wish we could help you. Come on. I'm telling you, I'm no thief. You just beat us all up. <laughs> ha, that's what they all say. Well, we're on to you. Fine, I get it. You want me to leave, I'll leave. Oh, but can you tell me where I can find some other people around here? There's a castle beyond the chorus. I mean the forest. Got it. Well, thanks. There's an evil lady who lives there. Thanks for telling me about that. Oh well. Is it morning already? No, it's not. Did we get, like, any money in there at all? Nope. <laughs> you sure seem nice. Okay. They're just saying the same stuff over and over again. Okay, fine. Later, bros. Alright. I'm gonna try to max out the Aqua Dealing first. Max level Aqua is pretty good. There we go! And so soon... This gives us access to some very nice magic spells. Cool, we maxed out Aqua already. If we max out Terra as well, that's also pretty great. Booyah. Getting Terra to max... Getting the Terra dealing to max level is pretty great. Because you... <laughs> Once Terra's dealing is max level, you get access access to something that's really, really good. And it's not even necessarily the ability that you get for uh, max level Terra dealing. His his ability is actually kind of bad. However, <laughs> one of the commands you get in the deck, because remember the commands change every time you level up the dealing a bit. Once he's max level, there's a, a command that gets added that's uh, it's pretty good. I'll just say that. Um. Nope. Nothing. Lovely. That's fine. We have some more enemies up ahead. Wow, that was a very short walk into the forest. Huh. Hey, look, I wonder who lives here. <laughs> I do wonder, Ventus, don't you? Hmm. This must be where those little men live. <gasps> there! Oh, before we do anything else, collecting, yeah, I know, I know to collect the crown stickers. Uh, we want to equip that mini. <laughs> mini is really, really good. <laughs> oh, here we go. This is gonna have the map in it. A map of the dwarf woodlands, thank you. Oh, yes, a fire command. Okay, uh, I don't really like arrow, so let's get that out of here. The arrow spell is just not very good. I know there was someone screaming in the forest, but I want to go into the house. Yeah. Another big chest. Oh, and this contains the attack recipe. Okay. We don't really need it since we're masters of synthesis, but... It is a treasure chest, so... Wow, that sticker is pretty high up. Ta 
think we might need to get high jump in order to grab that bad boy. If we go down the river here, there's also a chest back here. Poison? Sure, we don't really need Quick Blitz anymore. Alright, here we go. We're gonna head out into the woods. Where someone was screaming, oh, this, the woods look pretty creepy. Oh, and a potion and an ether, yay. Okay. The woods look creepy, but there's not anything here. That's fine. A shimmering crystal. Oh, hey, it's Snow White! Remember how Terra scared her in the, to the woods? Well, now we find her. What's wrong? These horrible trees! They tried to grab me! It's okay. You're probably just seeing things. It happens to all of us when we're afraid. Thank you. I feel quite better now. I'm sure I'll get along, somehow. But I do need a place to sleep at night. Would you know anywhere I might? Well, I saw a house just up ahead. Come on, I'll take you there. <laughs> Ter Ventus, oh, that's not I'm yours. Ventus. Then, for short. Thank you, Vin. My name's Snow White. Great. Let's get going. Have you seen Terra? He tried to kill me. <laughs> no, he didn't. He just pretended he was going to. Protect Snow White until he, she reaches the clearing. Press square and then X if she needs help. Yeah, so this is an escort mission, which is kind of annoying. It's made a lot easier, though, if you've got mini. You can just step on him. So the trees will actually, like, attack Snow White, even though they're not real. Come on. Take you guys out. Boop, boop. Boop, 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 scoop. Ooh, sliding dash level up. Hey, hey. Don't you try hurting Snow White. Get out of here. Alright, Snow White actually... Where is she? She actually runs on her own, which is... You might think that's annoying, but it actually means you don't have to just keep calling her over like you do to Minnie Mouse in uh, Kingdom Hearts 2. I mean, Minnie Mouse is way better of a party member than Snow White is, because Minnie's actually, like, really boss. It's okay, Snow White. You'll be okay. I am not Roxus. You'll be okay, Snow White. They're not real. They're just make-believe. Even though they're actually blowing wind on you. Actually, we might want to look into that. Oh, yay. We get money. Boom! Ooh, we get a level up to Strike Raid. There we go, Snow White. We get more HP because we helped out a lady in the... <laughs> I wish that happened in real life. It's like, you helped out a lady in need. You get to live an extra six, six months. <laughs> six months get added to your lifespan. I'll be safe here. But sit tight while I look around. The Seven Dwarves are like, and you just gave out our house to a random stranger? What the heck? Man, after a long day at work, I just really want to go and have a nap. <laughs> Someone's asleep in here. The coast is clear. Not a monster in sight. Huh. Couldn't stay away, could you? And who invited you in, you rotten thief? It's fair. Fair question. Oh, he's not a thief. He rescued me. Of 
mustn't be moved. I mustn't be fooled by him, Princess. Just go on and get. Please don't send him away. You see, he helped me when I was lost. And oh, so <laughs> he killed a bunch of monsters and shrunk them. What I'm afraid of his powers. Well, I was picking flowers by the wood, and there was a stranger there. He had a sword, but it was like a key. And then these monsters came and. A sword like a key. I wonder what that is. Tara! You mean this stranger saw you and sent his horde of evil demons after you? Tara would never do that. Oh, of course. I'm sure he wouldn't. Not if he's someone who is your friend. Princess, you trustn't be so musty. Oh, trust him. He's a lion! Mark my words! I'll prove it! <sighs> All right. <laughs> Ven is not having any of this Terra slander. All right. Do, 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 do. Oh, nothing. Okay. No, 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 there's nothing good. All right, so now we're going to head back to the woods and try to level up our Terra D-Link some more. Because I believe there will be more uh, enemies here. Nope, never mind. It's boss time. Take out the Unversed. Watch out for the poison puddles. So I can't remember the name of this thing. It's like the Walloping Willow or something. It's a giant Unversed tree. And Shot Locks definitely help against it. As you can see, it just took a lot of damage. And we are going to D-Link Aqua. Because she is at max level D-Link, which gives us access to some nice magic commands. Like Mind Square. And we have Magic Volley as a finisher. As you can see, we just dealt a lot of damage to it. We also have Kira in this deck as well. That's why I recommended leveling up uh, Aqua's D-Link before Terra's. Alright, this should finish it. Booyah! Easy boss. Deck of capacity increased, and we get the Firestorm command style. I'm telling you, D-Links are the way to go early game. Especially on critical mode. <laughs> oh, an apple! I should eat it. Excuse me, ma'am. You dropped this. Huh? Nah. <laughs> Thank you, my pet. To tell the truth, I really don't know what I would have done without that. Poof! <laughs> Haven't I seen that sword before? Tara has one. You know Tara? Oh, yes, yes. That ruffian pointed one of those at me asking about some Xehanort. My poor heart nearly stopped. That doesn't sound like him at all. Ma'am, where did Terra go? I'm sure I have no idea. <sighs> Must you all menace a poor granny so? What? No, I, I was just... Oof. <laughs> Terra, what did you do? If Ven hadn't pointed out the dropped apple... We wouldn't have been able to <laughs> poison Snow White later. We forged a day link with Snow White. Tara did not. Tara just scared her off. But Ventus actually made friends with her, and so he got a D link with Snow White. Brand new D link. And we get the treasure trove keyblade. Yeah. Yeah, so Tara kind of completes his version of that. Uh world a little bit before Ventus, or like they start at the same time and he finishes first. The timeline's a little weird at the beginning of the game. Oh, we missed out on a treasure somewhere. What? I bet you the treasure we missed out on was in the field that we weren't able to explore. <laughs> Just to have a hunch. Alright. Uh, we could equip potions. I think I'm I'll go back to Quick Blitz, I guess. Unless... 
can we meld Quick Blitz with... Oh, that's right, we could meld Slight and Dash. What can we meld Arrow with? With Quick Blitz! Cool, we'll do that. And we'll attach... Uh, beep, 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 beep. We'll attach a Pulsing Crystal to it. Aurora with Leaf Bracer. Yes. And we can meld Sliding Dash with Strike... Great, to get an action command? Okay, I don't think... I don't think so. Dang, Aurora. Decent level magic spell for early game. Boop -de -boop -boop. Okay, now we're gonna head back here and actually level up our Terra D-Link some more. We also could level up the Snow White D-Link, but the Terra one is better. At least for the near future. The Snow White D-Link for sure is gonna be good as well. Bonk. Ooh, wrecked. Okay, I am running a little low on HP though, so if one of these enemies wants to like drop something for me, that would be pretty nice. Vendus don't have as much attack power as Terra does, so he, he struggles to kill things, even if his attacks are a bit faster. Here we go. Max level Terra D Link, so he, now we have auto block. Which I'm actually not a fan of, because it oftentimes will interrupt your combo to auto-block. And it doesn't work all the time. It's just random. The Terra Ding Link now, however, we have Cure, which is nice. And more importantly, we have Sonic Blade. Max level Terra Ding Link gives us Sonic Blade. Which is a really powerful command for the early game. Actually, not just one. We have two Sonic Blades now. And when we use them in tandem, we'll, uh... Nothing really stands a chance. Also, I forgot to equip Payback Raid. And also, <laughs> the Terra D-Link finisher now, we can put dirt in other people's eyes. It's like a weaker version of Terra's ultimate finish command. Gonna put some dirt in your eye. All right, before we do anything else, we gotta equip Payback Raid. Should have done that earlier, but oh well, no harm done. We also should have equipped the Treasure Trove Keyblade to just give us that slight magic boost. And going to Terra's D-Links, uh, we're going to change Terra's finisher back to the default finish, because I don't really like putting dirt in people's eyes as the D-Link. Again, it just takes too long. The Snow White D-Link. D-Link with Snow White to change your arsenal. Command deck, unique moves for each of the dwarves. Finish, Gust of Wind, and Flower Petals. Doesn't sound very good, but it actually is. Especially as we level it up. All right, here's the flower clearing. I'm pretty sure the last treasure chest is here. Either that or we missed it in the mine somewhere. Oh yeah, Firestorm. Good to have your command style back. Some of the command styles are shared between characters, like everybody learns the Firestorm, Diamond Dust, and Thunderbolt command styles. Along with Frozen Fortune and Ribbon Mixer. However, like, some of the command some of the command styles are unique to the characters. Okay, this is not good. Gotta get out of here. Also, we have many. Yep, 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 yep. I don't wanna lock onto you. That was the wrong way to block, Ventus. Actually, if this restores our dealing gauge, though... It does, which means we can now use Snow White. So Sleepy will cast Sleep on people. Grumpy is a version of Strike Raid called Treasure Raid, which will not only damage people, but also give us money and potentially prizes for doing it. Doc is a Cura. Sweet Memory is the finisher. Basically, we'll summon a bunch of tornadoes to attack people. So right now, we just have these D-Link, or these commands, but as we level up the D-Link, we get more and more. And I gotta say, Grumpy's Treasure Raid is really good. Okay. 
Really? You should have done more. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. And look how fast the uh, gauge refills. The commands are refilling real fast. Oh, whoops. I didn't realize we had to push the right buttons. I thought it was just mash X. Oh, well. Can we get, like, a D-Link flower from this, maybe? We're at least getting a bunch of money for it, which is good. We gotta have the money. It's also a good way of farming for synthesis materials. I'm very <laughs> Yeah, Snow White D-Link is interesting. It gets a lot better when you level it up, but... Apparently they're being decided to be stingy with this. Oh, we ran out of deal. Rats. There's the treasure chest. Gives us a soothing crystal. Well, how nice. There's nothing down this way. There's a castle, but yeah, Ventus doesn't explore the castle, which is pretty much the only thing that Terra does explore. All right, Fever Pitch. And Fever Pitch is similar to Critical Impact in that you use like physical attacks, like Sliding Dash, Strike Raid in order to activate it. It basically just takes Ventus's all existing attack style and just takes it up to an 11. Here we go. Now we can level up the Snow White D-Link. We get Gauge Boost, which speeds up the... Uh, basically speeds up how fast the uh, Command Gauge fills up. Meaning we get to use the Snow White Finisher more frequently. Which, I mean, isn't great, but it will be once we get her to level 2. We also now get Sneezy, which I believe is either Aurora or Aroga. We get Happy, which is the fireworks <laughs> that we had as Terra. But, I mean, Grumpy's the real star. Just like in the movie, Grumpy's the real star here. Alright, we're at the store. Because we used the Grumpy command a bunch, we now have a lot of commands that we can purchase. And we have Cure. We're definitely going to buy a Cure. Definitely. I also think we're going to buy another, are we going to buy a fire? Actually, we're going to buy a bunch of fires. The reason is Ventus's default shot lock, the flame salvo, really benefits if you use fire boost on it. And uh, yeah, we, we want to use fire boost on it for sure. Uh, poison, I'll, I'll unequip poison for the time being. We can go back and level it up later, but it's not that great. I'd much rather have cure. And start leveling that bad boy up. So yeah, early in the game when you're when you're short on cash, Grumpy's Treasure Raid is quite good, especially since we got a bunch of potions from Treasure Raid uh, from the Treasure Raid. So another thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna sell a bunch of these. I sell twenty of them, get another three hundred gold. It's worth it early game. Uh, what else do we want to buy? We want to buy two blizzards, I think. Let's see, maybe sleep. Maybe not sleep right away. Oh, uh, we'll buy an, we'll buy another blizzard, and we'll start leveling those up as we go. But that's gonna do it, I think, for the first episode of Ventus's story. So we cleared out the first world. We got a bunch of commands. Got all the treasures there. So at this point, we can go to either Castle of Dreams Combat Level Two, or Enchanted Dominion Combat Level Three, or I guess we could go to Mirage Arena. I personally would recommend, folks, that you do Castle of Dreams next. Not only is that the next in terms of combat level, but that is also definitely the next in terms of story. So that's where we'll be heading next time. Thanks for watching. I hope that you tune in uh, for the next episode. We're heading off to Cinderella's World. It should be interesting.
Anyhow, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.